This year I've decided to try something new. I've decided that if I need to buy something new for my wardrobe, I will try to find it in a vintage shop first. The main reason for this is that um, I think I can find much better quality for less money. And another reason is that the variety is really good. You can find anything you want in vintage shops because vintage is super popular right now and super trendy and uh, the variety is really great you can find business suits you can find silk dresses blouses you can find bright colors neutral colors trendy items or one-of-a-kind items and i think the variety is actually much better than what we can see in um, sustainable shops yeah and another reason of course that it's more eco-friendly than buying new stuff so i've started researching this uh, vintage shops online and one thing that i understood that it's very important to find shops with good curation where items uh, where the items went through quality checks but also were chosen because of um, good reason you know because of their beautiful modern and unique design because if, i also found a lot of like crappy <laughs> online stores out there where they just put all kinds of stuff in there like super random and super hard to shop there but if you find a small shop with small collection uh, it's much easier to shop there, it's much easier to understand if this item fits you or not. Um, you can see how it looks on a person, what's the color and so on. Yeah, so I found actually a lot of options like that and uh, I share them on the blog, you can check it out later. And of course I got super excited and super inspired <laughs> um, by, by this while I was researching these vintage shops that I decided that today I will try to make spring summer uh, mini capsule using only vintage items from one or two of these shops. I will try to create at least 15 outfits using only 5 tops and 3 buttons. I will also try to find some extra items for layering and hopefully a bag and a pair of shoes. Okay, so let's see. So far I've tried the Imperfect. I actually got uh, this blazer from them. They are in, based in Paris and as I understood, they partner with vintage shops in France, select the best items and then put them together on one website. I think it's uh, a very interesting idea. Yeah, and uh, I actually also appreciated that the delivery package was plastic free, which is super rare nowadays, right? So let's see what else they have. The choice here is huge. And I wish navigation was a little more precise so I could choose by color or size. But anyway, I like the selection. You can also check their editorials to see how they styled some of these clothes. Let's start with tops. What I'm looking for is something that looks modern, suitable for everyday wear and of course cute. I don't really like vintage items that are kind of obviously old, like these 80s tops, this looks too old-fashioned to me. But with these kind of tops, you are not really sure when this item was made, 20 years ago or 2 days ago. I already found a couple of items that I really like. All of them have nice natural materials like cotton or wool. I really like this white blouse. It's very special, but not too loud, if you know what I mean. I also chose some sleeveless tops in case I will find a nice cardigan or jacket to wear them with. These pants are so cool. I love the pattern, but uh, wait, they are made of polyester. Yeah, which is not a perfect material for the warm season. Let's see what else is there. These linen trousers can be an option. Yes, and I also liked these ones. They are made out of wool. They are high-waisted and I also love the color. It's kind of a, like a perfect beige. I found two skirts that I think might fit the style. 
One is linen and it has this beautiful pastel yellow color. Of course, they could do a better job ironing it, but oh well. And also this one. It's also a pencil skirt, but with a pattern and I think it's a little longer. Yes, 63 centimeters usually means that it's slightly below the knee. And here are some cardigans. I really love all of them. <laughs> Okay, now I think I can start editing my visual guide and try to see if everything is interchangeable. If not, I will find something better and I also need uh, to um, add uh, shoes in the bag yeah, to complete the looks. But first I need to understand if everything is interchangeable. So I'll see you in a bit. Here is the mini wonder wardrobe that I've managed to create. It includes five tops, three bottoms, three cardigans, two pairs of shoes, two bags, and a belt. And when I mix all these items together, I get 15 fully interchangeable outfits in a romantic classic style. The color palette came out to be light and warm and would suit perfectly anyone who fits under a spring color type. As you can see, I styled these outfits with a pair of vintage brown moccasins and a pair of nude shoes. These are grey for a more casual look, while the nude ones add a little more chic and elegance to some looks. I added a vintage belt because it just instantly makes an outfit a little more stylish and put together and also it helps to accentuate the waistline. As you've probably understood, you don't need to create a wardrobe made entirely out of vintage items. But if you wanted to, you could easily do that. My guess is that most of the people will slowly integrate vintage items in their existing wardrobe. And if you do that, please make sure that your new additions fit very well with what you already have before purchasing them. And I hope this video will help you with that. Did you, did you get any new vintage items lately? Let me know in the comments what you pair them with and uh, where did you get them? Let's discuss it in the comments and learn from each other. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to press like and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.